Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Depend on your time zone. I'm Azuka OJ. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more updates. Today is the D day. IPOB has withdrawn their sit at home order. Though it was done late, uh, I wish they had done this earlier if they intended to actually do it. They would have done it earlier. And at the time they did, for me, it was too late. Now that they asked the people to go out and vote, a lot of people have made up their mind not to. And this will greatly impact negatively on the election. Uh, possibly the wrong people might hijack Anambra. And this is what we have been avoiding. Um, of course, none of those politicians are really good. But we can manage the lesser of two evils, uh, be two devils. We don't want anyone someone who will sell our state to foreigners just like hope was them is doing in Imo state we want the fairest of those candidates to win and help us keep the state till biafra comes we don't want things to get worse now on anambra post dig ig resigned redeployed uh, Deputy Inspector General of Police DIG Joseph Ebunike and Assistant Inspector General of Police AIG deployed to Anambra State for Saturday's election have resigned from the assignment. Why, Guano? What went wrong? Why is this happening at this dime minute? Anyway, uh, let's see how it happened. The two senior police officers have been redeployed by the Inspector General of Police Baba Al Kali uh, for. No reasons, um, we've not had any reason for that action. IG of police, uh, um, this type of thing happened in River State, too. Hmm, we don't want it to. Anyway, the general, the zonal police, uh, public relations officer, Princess Nkiruka, um, they said nobody resigned. She said only DIG Ewunike was sent to another important assignment. Why was he sent to another important assignment? Why was he redeployed then? Why these die minutes? Well, as she described as untrue, the reports making round that um, another IIG also left added that the media should shun new, um, fake news at all times. Meanwhile, a report from a source in Oka said they resigned based on alleged underground moves by some politicians to compromise them. And according to the source, they said they were being disturbed by some of the political parties to work for them. And some of these officers want their integrity intact. And they decided to leave the assignment. Really? So there is integrity in the police. Well, nice one. Well, I want to know that we are not the only people worried about this sudden redeployment in the police, especially during this election period. The Nigerian Civil Society Situation Room on November 6th governorship election in Anambra expressed worry over the same issue. And here is their reaction uh, to the latest re redeployment. They said, while addressing reporters in Oka, convener NOB said the state had had six commissioners of police in six months wondering what could be responsible for the development. She said this state has been a bit notorious in terms of police redeployment. She said, I remember when uh, we were on ground a month ago when we had a meeting with the security agencies. We just finished speaking with the CP who had been around less than two months and around 8.30 p.m. he was removed before the close of the meeting. Could you imagine? He said, there have been six CPs in Anambra, Commission of Police, in Anambra State in six months. Every month, that is one. What is going on? It's only the IG and IGP, AIG and IGP that can tell us why they are deploying and redeploying at this last minute. Well, um, that one on uh, UNO. Please, um, the federal government of Nigeria must not impose or install anybody on we and Umbrellians or the Igbo people. They should allow the vote to properly count. On a normal day, we already know the two political parties and Umbra people would pour out their votes to. Any attempt at installing anybody else is not welcomed. Well... Anambra election will dominate the news today, certainly. 
and uh, according to a report, APC has written results in 10 local government of Anambra State, 10 local government area. This is 24 hours ahead of the Anambra governorship election. APC has written, written results in 10 local government areas of the state. Uh, it was said the Anambra state government has credible intelligence showing that the All Progressive Congress APC has already written results of 10 local government areas as regards to the gubernatorial election which will take place today, um, November 6, uh, 2021. And the results are those of, according to the report, the results are those of the Onesha North, Onesha South, Agwata, Orumba South. Orumba North, Idemili North, Idemili South, Obaru, Anambra East and Anambra West. Uh, these are the local government with high numbers of registered voters. And the report also says APC operatives are relying on compromised independent electoral commission INEC officials who, who smuggled out um, the result sheets of a number of polling units two nights ago and the result sheets of some uh, local government areas last night to accept and announce the result regardless of the authentic results submitted by INEC officially officials electronically and the plan to capitalize on the fact that uh, Mohammed Buhari uh, has yet to ascend to the new electoral bill which makes electronic voting mandatory to perpetrate the fraud and the report went on to say a former senate president from southeast a former state Deputy Governor, who later became a governor, a senator from the Southwest, and a sitting state governor from the Southeast, I hope was name certainly, are deeply involved in the fraud to toy with the destiny of Ndianambra. And this public announcement, um, according to the report, is to alert the Anambra people, the INEC national leadership, the security agencies, the mass media, election observers, civil society organizations, and the international community of a grand plot the barefaced brigandage just cannot stand this was signed by uh, c don adenoba commissioner for information and public enlightenment um this is what we are afraid of we don't want anybody just anybody else to be imposing an umbrella you know what that means and when we are talking about IPOB saying they would abstain from voting, they will boycott the election. This is just my fear. Yes, of course, I wanted Biafra. Uh, but while Biafra, while we wait for Biafra to come, I want the best again for the Southeast. Yes, we want Biafra, but Biafra is on the way, is in the pipeline. But there are certain things that shouldn't go wrong. Anambra, naturally, we know the party Anambra will fall for. We know the party Anambra will fall for, naturally. And if we make mistakes, it could something could go wrong. And it will be a worst case for everyone in Anambra. And th this is what we have been trying to oppose. That is why I said, um, if IPOB has made up their mind that there is no election, they should hold on to it. This same thing happened in 2019. They said um, there will be no election. Die minutes when um, voters are, you know, people are, they have lost interest in voting. They suddenly announced that let the election go. So I think the IPOB should be able to make up their mind on something. They shouldn't be dangling on, you know, at the, the next minute they are this, the next minute they are this. Like somebody was advising at the first, if you think you cannot go a, do a one week sit at home, you um, uh, that you bow to pressures from all angles, don't even make an attempt. You have been successful with your one day sit at home, uh, the ghost Monday sit at home. Now you wanted to do a week, and there were pressures from several corners. Uh, though you got a lot of support too, while um, there are other pressures that you shouldn't now you should make up your mind on whatever you want to do not a die minute this happened in, like i said it happened in 2019 election make up your mind on how you want to go about this not die minute um, a lot of people are that were that would that made up their mind not to vote because of 
uh, your stance now you've just um reversed your stance how do you want them to do now they might want to vote but you know look at them you know so i think um ipob's governing body should be straightforward stand by whatever they want to do at first i said i don't like the one week before you try one week you try a two day, you try two days three days you can just do one week and somebody was advising that they shouldn't you know you test the resolve of the people first one day even the fasting you don't just wake up for example if you want to fast you don't just wake up and say i'll do one week no you would have been trying one day two days three days then everything has you know you don't just and while you are doing it, remember you said you are not planning to hurt Ndibo. So there's a way you cushion it so that the people you want to help will, uh, will not be the people that will you will be hurting. Because as far as I know, a lot of politicians talk pile food, they have enough, they don't care about your lockdown. So that is it. Anyway, viewers, I will leave you to add your comment to this. What do you think about the stories we share today? Add your comment, Amazuka OJ, and bye for now.